ringing the bell. Thanks for your attention and a very warm, warm welcome and sunny welcome here at the InnoTrans 2022. Welcome at Stadler. And now we are going to talk with Transport of Wales. Due to the contract of 2019, they ordered 35 Flirt tree mode vehicles, which you can see behind me, and 36 CityLink tram trains over there on track 10 so the gray and the wet one so now we're going to talk about both vehicles and especially the city link tram trains they are very popular in mainland europe and they run in eight different countries so what can i say about the flirt tree mode sustainable reliable comfortable and stylish so they are capable of running on lines with overhead electrics or electric wires as well as with battery power as well as with diesel. And the city links are modular, barrier free, and they are designed to connect city centers with the outlying areas. So these vehicles can operate on trams and rail network, and this is why they are called tram trains. And because they are capable of rail track and tram lines, they will increase the attractivity of the transport of Wales. So now you have a short overview and now we are going a little bit more into detail. And therefore we have the sales director for UK and Ireland of Stadler. Warm welcome for Ralf Babel. Thank you very much for the introduction. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Innotrans and to this presentation. So this is the presentation about the flirt tri-mode for Wales, um, as well as the city link for the Wales and Borders franchise. Uh, this year Inno at Innotrans, we have three units and vehicles at display for the UK, which I think is quite a good, uh, good uh, quantity for uh, uh, an island, I would say. And uh, obviously, we are delighted that two out of those three are for Wales. So now, unfortunately, I can't speak any Welsh. Uh, you don't want to hear when I try that. But uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice um, uh, sort of day for a presentation for Wales because it's sunny. Um, and it's very often sunny in, sunny in Wales, not always, but very often. So just to say some more words about uh, the units that we are presenting here. So not only have the two trains for Wales uh, batteries on board and therefore green credentials on board, but also all the other products that we are showing are equipped or either predispositioned for the use of batteries. So that's quite a sign to the industry and to the market that our products are sustainable. We are going with the zeitgeist uh, to decarbonize railways and, uh, and I think it's a good display to see all these units here. So as said before, my name is Ralf Abel. I'm the sales director um, for the UK and Ireland, and I will be saying some more words about these um, trains before I hand over to Rob, uh, or representing Transport for Wales. So, um, first of all, before I even start, I have to say thank you to Transport for Wales for obviously choosing our uh, products and helping us to um, fulfill their sustainability goals and uh, with our green credentials to, to get towards net zero in Wales. The contract we have signed in 2019 was for a total of 71 units, out of which, as said earlier, 36 were tram trains, like you see over there, um, and the remaining ones were for the, for the flirt units. Out of the flirts, 24 are this type uh, for um, the tri-mode operation, with, which includes batteries. So the FLIRT, just in case uh, you are not aware, it's not what you think it stands for. It stands for Fast Light Intercity Regional Train. So it's just uh, to clarification, these, uh, these names are given and uh, they have a meaning. So, so that's why. Um, so um, let me start some words for the, for the FLIRT unit. So um, the FLIRT unit has something special as also if you compare that with um, other trains on this exhibition, we have a power pack. You can see that right there. The power pack allows the FLIRT to carry an onboard energy storage, whatever it might be. In our case here, we, ha we have the 25 kV capabilities to run under the wire, uh, obviously then without any pollution. We have the batteries on board to allow us to go to about non-electrified lines and we have a last resort diesel for uh, the day when it takes a bit extra long and the, the batteries would get weak. So um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's 
body shell is made of aluminium, so lightweight, and the components used are maintenance friendly, and um, we keep the operating and uh, energy and maintenance cost low. The batteries in this unit are used to power the train, as mentioned before, on the non-electrified lines. And um, the advantage of that, especially for transport for waste, was to save cost on infrastructure um, improvements. So you basically can extend your network, uh, provide a seamless travel experience for the passengers without electrifying your network. And uh, that's um, a cost saving uh, for the infrastructure and a good deal for the taxpayers. The, um, the uh, seamless travel is also a big subject, of course, for the CityLink. The CityLink, similar to the FLIRT, is a 25 kV electric train, uh, but equipped with batteries. Again, Transport for Wales and their ambition uh, to have a net zero target is, um, um, is benefiting from having batteries on board and safe on infrastructure costs in investment. And again, go to places outside the electrified, electrified network and um, allow passengers to step on, on board to use the train without changing the mode of transport to come to the city center. So the, both trains are basically uh, safe, highly comfortable trains. The CityLink has six multifunctional areas, so which basically shows you that the customer has thought about getting bicycles on board, prams, push chairs, uh, wheelchairs, everything that is needed. 252 people have space in the city uh, link and can, can run up to 100 kilometers per hour. So I think. What we do afterwards, I'm inviting you to visit both units and uh, we can have a closer discussion, if you wish, uh, for some more details on these units. And um, so I think to, I may say that it is, won't be too long before you have the opportunity to see those two beautiful trains in operation. Uh, the, the, D, the FLIR train is already in testing since last year and uh, the CityLink is currently tested in a test center in the UK in Riddick. And uh, yeah, soon they will be in, in the uh, UK and in Wales and provide service for the people of Wales and uh, the visitors to this nice country. So I would say if you um, allow me to hand over to Rob to uh, see what the Transport for Wales is saying about these new trains. Thank you very much. Thank you and welcome Robert Hale, Head of Rolling Stock, Project Integration and Delivery at Transport for Wales. Robert Hale. Hi everyone, Borida, good morning all. My name is Rob Hale and I work for Transport for Wales as Head of Rolling Stock Strategy and Programmes. I've worked on the project of delivering our new trains for the last uh, two and a half years now and it's great to be here today at this global event to see how both our CityLink and flirt trimo trains uh, on display. Transport for Wales is a non-profit, non-for-profit organisation that is wholly owned by Welsh Government, set up to deliver Welsh Government's vision of a high quality, safe, integrated, affordable and accessible transport network that the people of Wales will be proud of. At TFW we are on a journey of transformation and investment to improve public transport. And through delivering these improvements, we want to increase the number of people using public transport, opting to leave their cars at home and support Welsh Government's agenda to fight climate change. Transport for Wales has heavily invested in infrastructure. One of our key milestone projects is the South Wales Metro, where we are in the process of fully electrifying 170 kilometres of railway line in South Wales. Transport for Wales is also investing in new rolling stock, and this is what we are here to celebrate today. Our new trains will start to be introduced to our Wales and Borders network over the next few months, and will totally transform the travel experience for our customers. Both the CityLink and Flirt Tri-Mode will offer customers modern, accessible and greener travel. As we introduce them to our network over the coming months and years, we'll be building an efficient and effective train network, network that will be resilient and bring many benefits to the people of Wales and the borders. Overall, Transport for Wales is investing over 800 million pounds into new rolling stock 
And within a few years, 95% of journeys on our network will be on brand new trains. The climate emergency is a major challenge for us all. And Welsh Government is on a mission to decarbonise Wales. These new trains will play a vital part in this challenge as we're driving a modal shift away from the private car and towards public transport. For us to be successful in changing behaviour and attracting more people to public transport, it's essential that the service and alternative to the car that we offer is of a high standard. The CityLink and Flirt Trimode are both high quality trains with modern features. They will provide a true alternative to using the car and we're really excited about introducing them to our network. I'd like to thank our partner Stadler for delivering these trains and all the teams that worked on the project. Again, it's great to be here and at TFW, <clears throat> we're proud to see both our future trains on display. Thank you. These are for you. It's a symbol of the day and uh, the celebration we had today. So thank you very much for being here, for ha having uh, sharing this speech with us. And uh, I don't know whether you all have a drink, but uh, cheers to the trains. Cheers to the future. To cheers. The, uh, all right. Cheers, cheers. everybody. Cheers, everybody.